Roland, for picking up the issue, for recognizing that this is a story that's worth telling. Because so many of us, as I said to you before the film opened, have been fed a story that we recognized innately was implausible. A story about a man who had no education and yet went on to become the greatest wordsmith, poet, and playwright, not only of the English, uh, not only of, of the English stage, but of the English language. And to discern that there is a misstep that's been taken or an, or an outright fraud that's been committed in passing on a story that's patently unbelievable has been, I think, dangerous to our kids who are seeking in uh, elementary school, in middle school, in high school, and at university, a truth. And we have been confronted lately with institutions that have plagued us with lies, with governments that have lied to us. And this search for the truth is a step in healthy social redirection. And when it comes to the ability to express oneself creatively and to speak truth when truth otherwise cannot find a forum, the story of Shakespeare and the subterfuge that Edward de Vere had to use in order to be able to tell the story that he would have said is one that we've long been awaiting to be told and which we're very grateful that Roland has picked up and decided to run with. I'd like to ask Roland to begin to tell us what particularly in the script that you encountered when you read what John Orloff had given you excited and surprised you and made you say, this is movie material? Well, that was, uh, that was, can you hear me? Uh, there was uh, a theme in the script from the very beginning which I kind of really spoke to me. And it's actually that words are like kind of stronger or like kind of more powerful oh. than swords. That was from the very beginning in there, and that's I, I very, uh, you know, strongly re uh, uh, responded to that. And uh, and uh, over the like, uh, we worked on the script. You know, he showed me a script. Uh, I acquired the script, and then it took uh, us like three or four more years to come to uh, the version what you just have seen. And you know, at, at the end, I even made like kind of uh, the decision to kind of. Uh, like Shakespeare, you know, like kind of put it into, you know, like a, a framework of a, you know, I wanted to have also a prologue, which like kind of, in a way like kind of gives people who have no idea of uh, that, like uh, what we all know so well, uh, that like kind of a couple of facts, you know, get told at the very beginning, you know, by like a narrator in meaning like prologue. And uh, and that was about just a very, very late addition, but um, the, the theme of, the pen is mightier than the sword. It was for me the, the main. You know, it's very rare to find a movie or like, or like a story which can. Come